Single and to receive a full stimulus payment, your income cannot exceed $75,000. If you happen to make between $75,000 and $99,000, then you will receive a partial payment. If you file as a head of household and make $112,500, you will get a full you will get a full stimulus payment. But anything between $112,500 and $136,500, you will only get partial payment. Um, and finally, if you're, if you're married filing jointly to receive a full stimulus payment, your income must be $150,000 or below. If you, make, uh, uh, if you make between that and $198,000, then you'll only get a partial payment. Now, the stimulus payment, the full stimulus payment, will be $1,200 for individuals and $2,400 for those who are married filing jointly. Also, there are also those people are eligible for an additional $500 per qualifying child. So if you have your, if you have filed your tax returns for 2018 or 2019, the, uh, the IRS will use that information for you to receive your payment. And for security reasons, the IRS plans to mail a letter about the economic impact payment. That's what they're calling it to the taxpayer's last known address within 15 days after the payment is paid. So be on the lookout for that letter. If you, have, if you haven't gotten paid and you received that letter, you're going to want to do something about that because that means your money went somewhere else. And finally, make sure you look out for scams trying to use the stimulus payment to steal your information. Um, remember, I want you guys to really remember this and, and, and take a mental note. The IRS will not call they won't text or email you or contact you on any social media platforms asking for personal bank information like like ever. They're not doing that. They don't do that. That's not something they do. So don't fall for the BS and don't be one of those people who, who got got. Also, watch out for email attachments or links claiming to have special information about the stimulus payment or refunds because all the information is what I just told you here. And all this information is straight from the IRS website. So if I got any of that inaccurate or wrong, take it up with the IRS. Good luck. Um, I'll make sure this link is provided in the show notes in case you want to look over it yourself or in case you missed anything that I said, you can always go back and reference it. Now we're coming up on our last segment of the podcast, our PPDPT segment, um, trademarked by Hakeem S. Ruiz. And this week's PPDPT is the Heart to Heart International Organization. They are an international human humanitarian relief organization based out of Kansas City. And their mission statement is this, and I quote, this is from their website, Heart to Heart International strengthens communities through improving health access, providing humanitarian development and administering crisis relief worldwide. We engage volunteers, collaborate with partners, and deploy resources to achieve this mission. I end quote. I chose this organization because if anyone needs to be highlighted right now, it's those people that are really helping the other people that are on the front line of this pandemic. You know, those those first responders, those healthcare workers, nurses, doctors, all of those. Um, if you visit their site, you can even sponsor a hygiene kit for COVID-19. Um, they've already distributed thousands of kits to local shelters, healthcare facilities, school districts, faith based programs, food pantries public safety organizations and, and, and a bunch more. And um, they're helping all types of demographics and organizations with no bias towards anyone, any one single area. And they're all over the world and they're continuing to provide aid. Even with all this going on, um, this organization is one of those many that are pulling their weight and doing much more during this crisis. And they're also one of those lesser known by the name, organizations. So if you hear about this one or happen to think on who to help by volunteering or donating, um, this organ, this organization could definitely use it. They're, they're really doing the work. It's not one of those scam organizations. Um, I say that because they have a 96.46 out of a hundred rating on the Char charity navigator website. You know, the one I mentioned a couple episodes back. So, uh, you know, it's legit. And, um, yeah, I'll be sure to leave their link in the show notes as well, in case you feel like being generous today and you want to donate. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. We covered a good amount of information, nice and quick. 
um, I'm having an easier time coming up with things to talk about and I'm really enjoying getting these stories together to give to you guys. Um, we covered Mr. Potato Head and his reign in the toy industry. Um, we went over the very soon to be real possible insect food industry. Uh, can't wait to try that mealworm burger. Not really, but um, I am interested in seeing how this Western world is going to accept it, if at all. And uh, we went over some of the financial information you might need in case you owe money on your student loans or you're looking to get that stimulus check and didn't know if you qualify or not. And finally, that charity that's doing a ton of groundwork, providing medical supplies and to those and many to those many people that we owe our lives to or other people owe their lives to. You know, those are the real heroes and hopefully everything gets back to normal soon. Um, so yeah, that's it. I, I hope you enjoyed listening and found information that I gave to you as entertaining as I did giving it. Um, I hope you can take this information and apply it to everyday life, whether it be the unrelated fun fact or any of the other information we covered today. Um, life is constantly changing and I'm more than happy to be someone who can highlight some of the things that are that I think are worth highlighting and if you have a positive news story or something you'd like to highlight share it with us check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Limelight Highlight our Twitter handle is LL Highlight and if you'd like to get in contact with us you can connect on any of those platforms or send us an email at limelighthighlight at gmail.com if you'd like to help support the podcast give us a like rating and review on whatever platform you're listening on and be sure to subscribe and share the podcast with anybody you think could benefit from it that's all i got to say for today i hope you enjoyed yourself and uh until next time be humble be helpful pay it forward be the best you wash your hands and be safe peace